Hey YouTube, it's Matt here with The Purposed Right. Today we're going to do a review on a bush tool called the SRT Knife by Habless Tools. Habless Bush Tools. SRT, Self-Reliant Tool. It is a bush knife. Well, uh, if you're going to be in the bush, a knife like this would be very beneficial. It's kind of heavy though. It's like over two pounds with it in the sheath. Uh, this one happens to have a leather sheath with it, leather sheath that has a hanging loop, so you can hang, but it kind of flops around, so you have a grommet hole, you'd have to probably tie a loop around your leg, or you can actually carry it, take this part of it off, carry it as a vertical or a horizontal knife, or it will go through this way for a vertical knife, uh, but it's kind of high if it's set as a vertical knife. If I was to carry this, I probably wouldn't carry it on me. I would probably carry it in my backpack or something. It's kind of big and kind of clubby. It also comes with a fire stick, whole, uh, fire starter stick area that you could put in here. This did not come with it though, Habless. Uh, these are around uh, $199.95 and you could order them from the Habless site. Uh, you have to pay another $59, well, $200 for the knife, $60 for the sheath. Sheath does not come with it. You can get a Kydex sheath. If I would probably get a Kydex one because I'm uh, big and not having leather being saturated if you're going to have a bush knife. If you're going to have it to carry in your car where it's not wet all the time or something, maybe that might be a little bit different story to have the leather one. It does have a uh, uh, clasp to hold it in place so it doesn't, so it doesn't come out pretty rigid. Uh, the knife itself is uh, fairly thick blades, like 3 8 thick. It is a big, thick blade, very strong. It is sharp, uh, and it does stay sharp. I ran it through some tests. It also has a notch in it right here for the for a fire starter stick. I found out, though, that when you have this rounded area, it tends not to be able to do it as well as if you just use the back of the blade as a better area for the fire starter stick because you have a sharp edge that you're working with versus a sharp rounded edge. I think you would have, uh, it, it's easier just to use the spine of the knife. So they put this notch in here, which I don't think is that beneficial. They also put a finger cutout area in there so you can really, if you're chopping away at something, you have a place to put your finger. But it's got a fairly rough edge, sharp edge on there. I don't like it. The handle does fit very well. And because that thumb, uh, the area for your fire stick, it gives you a place to rest your thumb so you have a lot more control. It has an area here where you can, uh, that's actually ground down. So if you're batoning, so when, if you have something that you're going to chop through, that you could hit it with another log or stick or something here to baton and drive it down through something. As well as the tang sticks out past the handle. So same thing again, if you're driving down with something, you have an area so you're not hitting your handle and breaking your handle away. They have some pretty good ideas. Double ground bevel blade, outstanding habless. This sucker is sharp and stays sharp. I did a before cut, cut right through it. I then chopped into a pressure treated two by four. I didn't chop all the way through it, so um, I hacked at it pretty good. And afterwards, did an after cut, sliced right through it. I mean, the knife stayed sharp. It does as it's advertised. I think that Habless, you did a great job. My car to handle, very sturdy. Uh, it's also your, uh, it's grommeted holes on here. It's, the point is definitely in line with the handle because their design was so you could lash and have it as a spear if needed. I guess if a zombie apocalypse comes and you need a spear or you're stranded out and need to kill a wild hog, you got something that you could make out of it. Uh, I don't, I like the knife. I like the sheath. I like everything about it. I don't like the name. Self-reliant tool. I don't like the name because in 2 Corinthians 3, 5, not, not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything coming from us, but our sufficiency is only from God. 2 Corinthians 3, 5. My sufficiency is in God, in Christ alone. It's not in this knife. But if I'm stranded out in the bush, I would love to have this knife along with Jesus. Jesus is always there. He's always with me. I don't leave home without him. But if I was stranded out in the bush, Jesus would be there. And 
I would like to have the Habilis SRT with me. I just wish they would call it something else. The Mega Cool Tool Bush Tool or something. I don't know. SRT, I don't know. My marketing would be a little bit different on, than their marketing, but I can tell you this. They did make a high-quality product. I don't particularly care for the finger cutout. I think that the fire stick cutout wasn't as quite necessary because you could still use the spine of the knife, but they did build a high-quality tool. Like I said, $199 for this, another $60 for a sheath. You'll have you a high-quality, self-reliant tool. Well, you'll have a good bush tool. How about we just call it that? You'll have a good bush tool. Thanks again for tuning in. Questions and comments below. Yeah, you can get a hold of me at the RevRev13 at gmail.com. And as always here at The Purpose Right, we love you, Jesus loves you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You guys have a great day. Goodbye.